Okay, so uh, there was supposed to be a time lapse of me blowing up the board. It hasn't worked. <laughs> so uh, I'll do the time lapse of me taking the board down. It's probably a bit easier and I'll be less exhausted. So um, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, my uh, newly converted um, Canon ERS R. So it's mirrorless. And it's been converted into infrared. Um, 7200 spectrum which is good for black and white it is a full spectrum conversion but um you'll see here i've got um an infrared filter on the front i'll just screw that off there and that's a 72 hoyer filter and that will give me the black and white that i need um a bit later i'll just explain the more ins and outs of it but essentially um if you see i take the lens off here um, you can see the shutter inside and um, I have what's known as a here it's a UV IR cut uh, filter now that UV IR cut filter which I'll take out now looks like this okay and if I slip this inside here um, and it will just go, it will clip in here. This will convert it back into what it was, the normal ESO R camera, fully color compatible. IR gives uh, greater blacks in the water and makes the greens much lighter. I love uh, shooting black and white landscape. This helps immensely. The conversion results in greater depth of field, lower ISO, higher shutter speed and you can uh, shoot much more easily handheld on the moon. Shooting infrared on the river is perfect to showcase this. So I've got the um, got the reeds here behind me. Um, just um, they're sort of like uh, water grasses and then lilies in the distance. So the idea is uh, I'll be swinging around in a minute so you'll be able to see them. Um, the idea is they're very green so they'll come out quite wide. They're a light green. Um, partly because I think that the uh, infrared gets reflected quite a bit so I've taken a few shots of that it's quite good with the clouds in the back. Mm -hmm. 